Hi, it's Rob from the Bush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint an Angel Sanguine Primaris Intercessor. If you'd like to support the channel, our coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Now on to the video. The first colour we're going to use is Vallejo Black. And this is to paint half of the miniature black. And it's going to be the left half of the miniature. So the left half of the power armour. The way you want to do this, I find, is to do all the areas where the black is just complete, there isn't any straight lines. Do all of those bits first so you can hammer through those, get that coat of black on. Now, once you've finished that, you can just go to where the sort of centre of the power pack and just draw that straight line down the back of it and a straight line down the helm. And then, as we add the colours later on, we'll be able to touch that up. So, next up, it's going to be Citadel Moot Green, and this is to do the eye lenses. Miniature has been sprayed with Citadel Mephiston Red prior to the start of the video. Which does give a really, really nice red coat. Next up is Vallejo Model Air Chrome, and we're going to use this to do all of the silvery metallics on the miniature. So in this part you've got the drum for the magazine, the drum magazine, you've got the parts of the bolt rifle, parts of the grenades if you want to, which are strapped to that strap underneath the rifle itself or the sling and some parts of the power pack next up we're going to use citadel bane blade brown it's going to be to do the sling the belt and the pouches and the holster too Next up is Citadel Retributor Armour. You can use this to do the little details like the Aquila on the side of the bolt rifle. You've got a little Crux Terminatus kind of thing dangling from his pauldron. You've got bits of the grenade launcher, the shells for the bolt rifle. Any other little details that might be on them like that. Now we have Citadel Rackarth Flesh. We're going to use this to do the little scroll work on the shoulder. I'm trying to be quite careful putting this on so I don't have to go over it with black. Like so. Now we're going to use some Citadel Mephist on red just to touch up any of the areas we might have gone over. So to straighten up the line running between the black and the red. Found on the helm the most tricky part because the curved nature of it. But even so, it's not too bad. Using a little bit of black to touch up that there. So the base colour is done. We're now going to use Citadel Druchi Violet. We're going to use this to go over all of the red, give that a nice shade. Next up, Citadel Grax Earthshade. We're going to use this to do all of the gold. I'm 
like so. Now I'm going to use some Citadel Snake Bite Leather Contrast Paint. I'm going to use this to go over the Bane Blade Brown on the sling, the belt, and the pouches. It does give it a nice leathery colour. Really like using this to do the leather straps now. Next up, a tiny little bit of Citadel Seraphim Sepia. We're going to use this on the scroll on the shoulder pad there. I'm also going to use some Citadel BL Tan Green just to do the eye lenses. and Citadel Null Oil to do all of the silvery metallics. Like so. With all the shades done, we're now going to move on to Citadel Mephist on Red. We're going to start reapplying the colour back to the miniature. So when you're reapplying the colour, think about where the light is going to be catching the armour. So you don't want to be reapplying the Mephist on Red underneath, like on the underside of the arms or underside of the armour, where there's not going to be much light catching on it. You want to leave that slightly shaded. You also want to leave the shade in all the recesses. Now I'm going to use some Evil Sun Scarlet to highlight. So you want to use this on about 50% of the area that you covered with the Mephist on red. That's only kind of roughly certain areas you'll use it on a lot more. At the back of the leg probably you'll give that a lot more Evil Sun Scarlet where it's catching more light. And then you're going to have that smaller area where there is Mephist on red around the outside of that before it goes to the shaded area on the underside of the leg. Finally on the red past the armour, we're going to use Citadel Wild Rider Red. We're just going to use this to do edge highlights, in a few places a slightly bigger highlight. So again, think about which areas are going to be catching the light and you want to highlight those so that they stand out. Once you've added this, it does give that nice ready orangey colour for the armour. Now I'm going to start highlighting the black armour. And we're going to start with Vallejo German Grey. Much like we did with the Evil Sun Scarlet. You're going to cover about the same amount of area with that. This is just so you do have that nice black coloured armour on the undersides and the areas where it's going to be slightly more shaded. By only doing one very dark grey highlight and then an edge highlight to it, you will get a really nice looking piece of armour. Now I'm going to use Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey to do the edge highlights for this part of the armour. Also use the German grey to do the seals between the armour plates. But we're not going to highlight these with Mechanica standard grey. We're going to keep that, that dull grey highlight on those black seals. So we're now going to work on the pouches and the sling. And for this we're going to use Citadel Balor Brown. 
There'll be using it to do some of the larger, flatter areas maybe, and around the edges of each side of like the sling and around the corners and creases on the pouches too. This is going to be the starter colour for where we're making the leather look a bit worn and rough around the edges. Next we're going to use Citadel Rackarth Flesh. I'm going to mix this with the Ballo Brown. I'm going to do another layer of rough edging to make it look like the leather has been scuffed. So these are good to do the horizontal edges with vertical strokes and the vertical edges with horizontal strokes. Now I'm going to add a little bit more Citadel Rackarth Flesh to the previous mix and do one final highlight on these rough parts of the leather. Now we'll start working on that scroll work on the pauldron. We're going to use Citadel Rackarth Flesh to do the first layer on top of it. You want to make sure that you leave the sepia in the recesses. You can mix a little bit of Vallejo White, but whichever white you use, with the Rackarth Flesh. We're going to start doing the highlights on the scroll work. I'm going to mix a little bit more white with the previous mix. I'll just do one final highlight on that scroll work. I'm going to start working on the gold using Citadel Retributor Armour. Here you want to be leaving the shade in the recesses, picking out all the details with the Retributor Armour. Now we're going to highlight the gold, we're going to use some Citadel Liberator Gold. Let's tend to do the top edges with the Liberator Gold and the edges of the wings. So the, on the quill or on the chest you'll have the edges of each kind of feather piece and the sort of like end half of each of the tops of the wings. With the rest of the bits if you just do about 50% of the area you're covered with the Retributor Armour and that should be fine. Now we're going to mix some Citadel Stormhost Silver with the Liberator Gold. I'll just do one final highlight with this. I do sort of mix and match sometimes between this and the Vallejo Model Air Chrome. I think the Model Air Chrome has the edge in the pigment. You have to use a lot more Stormhost Silver to lighten up that Liberator Gold. Once you've got it lightened, it does have the same effect when you paint it on. So whichever you've got, you can use that. I'm going to use some Citadel Mook Green on the eye lenses. I'm going to do about the back two thirds of each lens. Sort of aiming to get that two thirds is sort of like across the bottom of each lens on the very, very back there. 
Then we are going to mix some Vallejo white with the Mook green. I'm just going to do a little highlight on the back there. If you do happen to get any of the Mook green over the bottom or the top of the lens, it sort of joins it onto the armour plate. You can use a little bit of that Bealtan green shade and just shade that up again. Adding a little bit more of a layer of white to this, and we're just going to do one final little highlight on here before we do the reflected dot. Now we're just going to use pure Vallejo white, and this is just to do a spot at the front of each lens, and also a tiny little highlight at the back where we've been highlighting the rest of it. Like so. Okay, so we're now going to work on the chapter badge a little bit. There will be a full start of video of this coming on Sunday. I'm going to use a little bit of white. We're going to start by doing the skull in the centre of the chapter badge. So we'll start by doing a rough circle. Doesn't matter if it's a bit more of an oval for the skull. Then do two little angular bits, one on each side for where the cheekbones are. And then a little bit for where the teeth will be going afterwards. All you need to do is tweak that so you get it nice and even however you want to do it. And get that nice smooth white colour. Now we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo black, whichever black you use is fine. We're just going to put on the eyes and a little triangle for the nose. With this when you put them on, you'll probably find that you might put them on a bit to one side or a bit off centre. That's fine, you can just tweak that and slowly move them back into the position by using little bits of white and black and just touching them up each time and gently shuffling them across. Now we're going to use some Citadel Mephiston Red. I'm going to do the wings for the Angel Sanguine Chapter Badge. I'm going to do a rough one here with the general shape of the wing. It has four little or five little feathers on there. So paint them on roughly and then fill in the gaps. And as I say, there'll be the full video on Sunday that I'll show you how I do it. So do tweak that method a little tiny bit. Final thing we're going to do is do a couple of little blood drops with Avalanche Sunset on that red knee. Just to give them the markings. So they've got the battle line marking and the squad number, I believe it is, on the right pauldron. And I think this is the company number on the knee pad. And with those blood drops complete, we have the finished Angel Sanguine. Really pleased with how it turned out. Love the colours of it. Cracking looking colour scheme for a chapter. But happy with that. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much.